Hi there everyone, welcome to Technoholic. If you are searching for a powerful photo editing software that won't break the bank, then you are at right place. Today we will explore a perfect alternative of Photoshop named as Affinity Photo 2. And guess what? We are going to show you how we can download and install it for free. And it also comes with whopping 6 month of trial without any credit card information. Plus we will also compare it to Photoshop to help you to make best choice. Affinity 2 is a top notch photo editing tool that's challenging Adobe Photoshop with its impressive features at affordable price. It offers everything from basic adjustment to advanced editing, making it perfect for both beginner as well as professionals. And the best part here is you can download Affinity Photo 2 for free and can start a free trial to test all its features before you buy. And then the duration of the trial, as I said, is whopping six months. Now let's see how we can download and install Affinity Photo 2 for free. For that, let's jump into our computer screen. And there we go, here we can see. It is also talking about some kind of 50% off and then six months of free trial. So this is, I would say, Affinity website. And not to worry guys, I'm gonna also put the link of this site in the description of this video. From there also you can directly reach to this page. Now here we need to click on photo. And here also you can see that there is some kind of sale going on. That going to give 50% extra discount. But here I am so surprised to have 6 month of free trial. So let's also have a look on the different different version it come up with. So it have got desktop version. So this also have got iPad specific version as well. If you also want me to cover this iPad specific, then do let me know in comment down below. Now let's click here on desktop. And here you can see it also received some of award, for example, Apple app of year, editor choice, best software, photography news, and so on. And as I was saying, it is one time purchase, which means that you do not need to pay for a subscription which is really great thing to have nowadays. Now, if we scroll it down, here we can see further more capability of this software. This also include end-to-end -end whopping 32-bit experience, which is really, I would say, how many cameras you have seen that can actually click pictures at this depth. Now, let's click here on tech spec, and then here we can see it is compatible with Mac, as well as windows covering majority of users now let's click here on free trial now we need to click here on try it for free and then here you can see it is free trial and then you're gonna have access to all affinity v2 apps on all operating system for six months so i'm gonna put my email address here you can put your own and then we need to click on add to email now let's add further information and there we go now simply click on get my download link and I think we also require to verify our email. So let me verify my email that you will receive this kind of email. You need to click on verify email address. And there we go. Now from here, we need to download Affinity Photo for Windows. And then here you can see different different variants, which I would say is okay to click on anyone. Since I am using X64, which I would say is really nice to see. And I'm really surprised to see how quick they are because they also have added dedicated app for ARM based PC that going to launch soon. Now, since most of our system are X64, so let's download this X64 version. Meanwhile, it is downloading. Here we can see that it also have got Affinity Designer which is competitor of Adobe Illustrator. And then here we can see we have got this publisher as well. Now let's click on open. And if you are a macOS user, then you can also download the macOS variant as well. 
now here in programs i can see my setup got downloaded let me run it And there we go here we can see the setup was straightforward and we have successfully installed it now let me click here on menu button and then here i can see affinity photo is installed let me also type here affinity and let's open this application for the first time and here i guess we need to enter our mail id and password that we have just created And there we go here we can see we have got this 180 day of trial let's click here on start 180 day trial and here we can see we have activated our trial and let's click here on continue and then here we need to accept terms and condition and then um and there we go now here we can click on what's new that will talk about the new capability and updates with this new 2.5 version now let me actually click here on close and there we go it more of look like photoshop i would say and then um here we can see the tools available which are also like photoshop so let's start with for example a3 size landscape and there we go so here we can see we have got select tool we also have got similar crop tool that is also available with photoshop we have got this paint fill and then i think it also have got a layer based approach so let me add here a rectangle and here i can see these are two layers that are being added and let me actually download one of sample picture for example i think this one we can have let's see if it support webp uh, which so many time i have seen the adobe platform does not support and there we go so uh, here we can see just like in photoshop uh, we have got layer base layer tree and then here also we can rasterize we can also perform different type of task here we also have got option to apply filters as well which really look nice now let me also open photoshop interface here and then um you know we are aware of how photoshop look like photoshop also offer a very similar interface and toolkit and i would say the photoshop also offered layer based editing interface which i would say you know probably affinity have taken inspiration from because obviously photoshop is much more older software than this affinity but uh, you see the toolbar it looks almost same they almost try to keep even the menu options same so that there would be shorter learning curve if you are moving from photoshop to affinity with six months of free license i would say it is more than enough time to evaluate the software whether this affinity is for you or not then again if we compare photoshop and affinity in terms of cost as i said before affinity photo 2 is one time purchase which is no subscription however in case of adobe photoshop it is subscription based and can be expensive over time then if you talk about features affinity photo 2 offer live filter as we have implemented here an advanced layering and vector tool photoshop also cover extensive features and plugin support if we talk about the performance here affinity photo 2 is fast and efficient even on lower spec system however in case of photoshop it requires more hardware sources but perform well in high-end system again you know if you are using a hardware which is not up to the mark or 
I would say slightly toward lower side of spec, then you can definitely have a look on this Affinity Photo True. If we talk about the file compatibility of Photoshop and Affinity, both support various file format, but Photoshop integrates better with other Adobe products. So let's say you are using other Adobe products, then I think it makes more sense to stick to Photoshop. Now let's talk about learning curve. So let's say you are new to both Photoshop as well as Affinity Photo 2. I would say Affinity Photo 2 is easier for beginners. However, in case of Photoshop, it has got steeper learning curve, but offer advanced features for the professionals. Now let's talk about some of unique features about Affinity Photo 2. The Affinity Photo 2 comes with live filters that you can apply and adjust non-destructively in real time as we did here you will also see persona workspaces which are specialized workspaces for photo editing liquefying and developing raw file this also comes with non-destructive editing making adjustment without altering the original image and just like photoshop it also comes with unlimited layers helping you to create and work with a very complicated project. And it also have got vector drawing tool such that the vector graphics can be integrated seamlessly. These features make Affinity Photo 2 an incredibly versatile tool. Affinity Photo 2 offers a powerful affordable alternative to Adobe Photoshop with a free trial that is of whopping six months and is very easy to install. Not only that, you also do not require to provide any credit card information that is again gonna give you a relief. So whether you are a professional or a hobbyist like me, I would definitely recommend you to give Affinity Photo 2 a try. If you found this video helpful and informational, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and let us know what do you want to see next. Also, do not forget to subscribe to Technoholic to see more such content and I will catch you soon with one such another video. Till then, you take care and bye-bye.